I live right in the lock house. Uh, I was born there. I'm born in my grandmother's house in Bethesda and brought back out here, and I've been here ever since. It's uh, 62 years I've lived in the lock house. My grandfather moved here in 1907, and he was a lock tender here. He tended lock during the summertime, and in the wintertime, he drove a horse and buggy school wagon for the one-room school at Norton and Glen Road, where the big house sits today. It wasn't a one-person job. Actually, the lock keeper, you know, I mean, they, they run night and day, so a lot of times they'd have to, the kids would have to pitch in and uh, help with the lock tending, and uh, it was a family-oriented. And years ago, that's the way families grew up, that uh, the kids pitched in and they were little laborers, more or less. In 1924, we had a flood, and that was the end of the canal. By that time, the, the business was getting down, and the uh, it wasn't profitable, so therefore they closed it up. So uh, our family stayed on as uh, the lock keeper here, and then uh, he started using it as a fishing spot. And we used to have a lot of fishermen that fished here. A lot of good bass, crappie, bluegill, sunfish, catfish, suckers, carp, all types of freshwater fish out there. Yeah. This was, was mainly a fishing spot. Actually, my father would work a regular job, and then on the weekends, he would take guys out, and they'd pay him for, to take them out fishing. And he did this on the weekends. So he was a hard worker. Well, today it's as a recreation uh, area, and we have canoes, boats, kayaks, bicycles, and uh, years ago it was more popular than it is today because uh, we don't get our large groups like we did years ago. We used to have a lot of Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, but today with the, all the insurance risk and all, a lot of this doesn't exist. Well, I've enjoyed it. Uh, I enjoy a lot of the people that come through and all. It's interesting. We have people that ha hike the Appalachian Trail and they'll hit the CNO Canal and come down. And there's people that's traveled cross country and there's been, been people that's been on the trail for months and months at a time. So you meet a lot of different people and I enjoy the outdoors. So, in fact, in the wintertime, I get cabin fever from having to be in, you know, when the weather's really bad where I can't get out. So I'm an outdoor person. I just enjoy the outdoors and I've enjoyed my life here.